Number one is a declaration by your mouth. As we said, there is none worthy of worship besides my maker. We call him Allah because he calls himself Allah, which refers to the worshipped one. And I bear witness that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his messenger. The five daily prayers, the fasting in the month of Ramadan, the charities, if I'm a wealthy person, to give to poor people. And if once in my lifetime, if I can, I will go for Hajj. Do you believe that in principle? Yes, I do. Number two, do you believe in the six pillars of faith? What are they? Amantu billahi, I believe in Allah. Wa malaikatihi, and the angels. Angels exist. Wa kutubihi, and the books, the Injil, and so on. All of the previous books that were given to the previous prophets. You believe in them in principle? Yes, I do. Wa rusulihi, and all the messengers, respectfully. We do not agree with previous scriptures that have spoken bad about any of the messengers or prophets of Allah. We believe they were honorable men and whatever negativity is there in a disrespectful way, we deny it. Islam does not agree with it. They say Lot slept with his daughters. Astaghfirullah, we don't agree. They say Jesus had an affair. Astaghfirullah, that is blasphemous. We don't agree with this. We don't. We, they say Mary had an affair. We don't agree with that either. And so on. So in principle, even Solomon and David, they have really bad things to say about them. For us as Muslims, they were honorable. They were the best of the best. And Allah chose them. He would not have chosen otherwise.